Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria if we're meeting for the first time. This message will be short, sweet, and to the point as far as I know, but before I dive into it, I want to A, set an intention and B, give you a little bit of a behind the scenes or build up to this story or build up to this message because it's very important and it applies. So... First things first, I want to tell you that the backstory of this is that this message has been building up for over a week. I've been feeling it, but it's one of those messages that doesn't just come in clear cut and obvious. It's a sprinkling that turns into like, I, it, to me, it, it almost reminds me of if, you know, we're living on planet Earth and then you have a little pond over here, a pond over here, a lake over here, a stream over here. All of those bodies of waters are separate, but ultimately they're all going to ultimately flow together and come together. That's one of those messages, right? So think about, no, down. Sorry, my dog is here and she gets, if she sees me on the floor, she tries to get as close as possible. And they were just running, so they're out of breath. And honestly, so am I. So it's one of those messages that it's not like the ocean where you sit with it, you dive into it, and it goes deep. This is one of those things that it's a lot sprinkled around to bring us to where it is that we're here today. Now that's the backstory. I'm, I believe that this is, because I've been sitting with the divine and asking how far does this go. I believe that this is as far as this message goes. However, if there's anything additional to it, I'll pass that on. Second, I'm setting the intention that this message reaches those who it's meant to I believe that this is going to be for a, a larger audience than a specific group of uh, a group of people, um, because when I asked for clarity on who this was for, there wasn't really any um, additional information or confirmation on that. It was just like, just say it, just you know, get it out. So, having said that, I heard the word um, purification. I heard the word purification. And then as I sat with that word, I kept seeing it and I kept feeling it in my spirit. As I sat with the word, I heard like, and I peeled, peeled it back a little further as the days went on, I was connecting it to the idea or the energy of awareness. And then I had to go back to the word itself, purification. And I was asking spirit, asking the divine, what does purification mean in this, in this situation? And purification was linked to the process as of us making sure that we were spiritually pure, that we were spiritually clear. This was not an attempt to get as close to perfection as possible or that you were doing anything right or wrong. It's what we energetically begin to pick up as we're moving through our day, dealing with certain people, even if it's a part of our path and our plan, it's who you talk to, it's the relationships, it's the energy that other people bring, their hopes, their disappointments, all of those things tend to linger. And it's interesting because before I came here today, the conversation that I had with a wonderful friend, I love her, shout out to Kayla, um, I was talking to her and we were, she was, she was like, Jess, I need to tell you about my dream and blah, blah, blah. And we were talking about it. And I told her, I was like, you're one of the ones, not to like put anything on blast, but essentially this message would apply to that situation too. But it's interesting how it was like a buildup and how many people I felt that it was applied to went to the hairdresser. And while we're sitting in the chair, I was talking to my hairdresser, my girl, and shout out to you, honey, if you're watching this, thank you always for hooking me up. But not only was it, was I sitting there um, in our conversation that I was just flowing with, I wasn't leading it, I wasn't guiding it, I was just present in it. The conversation was being led to the very topic that it is that I'm called to talk to you guys today. Sat next to a girl on the right or on the left, she was like, what is it that you do? I knew it, I could feel it, let me tell you about my ayahuasca trip, blah, 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 blah. So, and that turned into that, and the other hairdresser already knew, nope, down, down. The other hairdresser already knew, yo, dog mom, right? Like my instincts are getting sharper by the minute. That hairdresser already knew about my down, my my gifts, my energy, etc., etc. And you know, so it is what it is. So it's interesting though, because leading up to the the days leading up to this, the fact that I'm sharing it with you guys today, moving and breathing, living in my and everyday experience. Um, the conversation leading up to that, 
the conversation while I'm in the hairdresser chair and as I was driving home, really sitting with it, I'm past the point where I think, oh, is this synchronistic? I know when it's the divine speaking to me and I know what the message is. So there was a long buildup into contributing to this. So purification is the, and in, in, in for this moment, right, for the, for the purpose of this message, how the divine was delivering this word and the, and the significance and the purpose of it and where it's supposed to be applied to your life has to do with spiritual, your spiritual significance and energetic cleansing. We are not doing anything right or wrong, or this message is specifically designed to under to help people understand or help you to understand that it's not that you're doing anything right or wrong. It's just that inevitably you're going to pick up on certain energy energy things, things that cross into your into your presence. Let's say you have a child. This is the most innocent example I can give you. Let's say you have a child and you love this this baby and they first day of school or third day at school they come home and they are crying because they don't feel like they fit in the granola wasn't what they wanted there's just a lot of things that are frustrating the baby you're holding them you're essentially kind of comf well, comforting them but ultimately taking on that energetic field it's not that there's anything wrong with what is happening in that moment that's the way that it should but the energy the, the energy body begins to over time, if there's too many of these things, it starts to get worn down. You'll start to feel like you're you're dragging. And spirit was really emphasizing the, the, the idea of purification. This means that I just heard like striking. Like in a moment, if you go to your prayer space, if you go to set intention, or if you do a ritual to cleanse your energy, you can strike all of that energy off of you in one clean swift motion and one clean movement it's and spirit is acknowledging it's not the all of the big things someone here feels like everything's going right in my life all these major things are happening and all of it's good or all of these things are things that i ask for all of these things feel like blessings <clears throat> but why do i feel like disconnected why do i feel like not lazy, but I just unmotivated, unambitious, um, kind of like maybe even feeling like you're dragging, you don't have energy, you don't wake up bright eyed and bushy tailed, you might have a difficult time waking up or maybe even falling asleep or staying asleep. Spirit says that it's the small things, it's not, you're looking for the bigger things, but it's the small things that have turned into the plague for you. And this is why, th so Spirit then, brought the idea of purification to the connection of awareness and spirit wants to inform you like so that it's not that you need to change how you're showing up for others or or the day-to-day -day, you know your activities your habits your lifestyle that doesn't need to change because you were led into this place where your habits your rituals your routines are something that supports you but it's the awareness that if you are not const not constantly, but also in, in inter um, I, wow, okay, so I was gonna say interacting, literally, that's what the divine wants to say, interacting with the divine, interacting with your angels and your guides to bring in purification and a cleansing of your headspace, your crown chakra, your heart, your throat, all of the chakra points, all of these main points that express power and also receive energy to continue to express power. If you're not going into a space where you're actively working to cleanse that and to remove that buildup, your energy is also going to feel very sticky. Now, as I'm saying that, there's there's this heightened um, affirmation, I wanna say that spirit says that you are right on the money. There, this is for someone who is 90, 90% moving in alignment. It's just these small rituals and patterns that need to be, that your awareness needs to be brought to, not only for your sake, but for those that you teach along the way. Because there's this, okay, as I'm sitting here now, I'm hearing how that for many of us, like all of us around the world, so maybe it's a general, it's everybody, this is not just one specific, all of us around the world, as we move, every single one of us, it, you could be in India, Australia, Japan, um, Alabama, you know, it doesn't matter where it is that you're listening to this. I honestly feel as I'm talking, like every one of us needs to understand this this message that it's not 
in in this world we are meant every single one of us is born with a purpose and a significant value is your life your life has significant value when you meet someone you have the ability to impact that person for the rest of their life you have the ability to impact their journey their path how they're walking after one moment you you have to understand your power and this is a whole nother message too because that, that was another thing that was coming through and I've really been really taking my time to digest this other message about the S word um, uh, for my own I take my time with it because it's heavy and it's very triggery for me um, not that I can't take talk about it but I've come from it personally so these are the types of those are the types of messages where I don't rush through an intuitive message to begin with, but I will take deliberate time and intention to slowly digest so that I'm receiving because this is a very I was always known from the jump that to be an intuitive, to be a seer, to hear the voice of God, to understand the spiritual realms and not get sucked into it. There is a very fine line between not good or bad, but balance and imbalance, and also the responsibility, the weight of how you're meant to to use that gift and how you're meant to show up with it to the world and also to yourself. You can never take advantage of it, and that is also another process why it's I you know I move very slow and methodical for the most part. Anyways, that message <clears throat> and this what I'm saying now will actually lead into into that message, but I'm being full fully transparent with you. I'm not rushing through that one per use, but I am really taking my time to digest that and break it down bit by bit because I know that that will change lives, literally add, add years onto people's lives. But back to this, minimal, what I want you to receive from this, and by I, I mean the divine. The divine wants you to receive, receive from this, and when I say I, this is the divine speaking directly to you. What I want you to receive from this is that your life is so significant. It has such a heavy weight of a, a supreme purpose. We forget that we forget how, how, how much of an impact we have here on earth with each other to, to the earth and to ourselves. It's easy to forget because of the moments where you have felt forgotten is what is it I'm hearing. The moments you felt abandoned or trauma. Things that happen to you that once you get hit, you almost expect the hit to come back. You kind of, someone raises their hand and you, you, you jump. So the divine watches us fighting through that and battling that and tries to encourage us back into the place, the space within ourselves that is safe, that is soft, that is nurturing, that is loved, and that our experiences here on earth are not a reflection of the divine's love, compassion, grace, and also strength and desire to protect us. And that's a whole other thing all by itself. But minimally, what I'm, I keep hearing, what I want you to receive from this is I want you to know that at any point, at any moment, you can change any person's life. Every single person that you cross paths with, you have the ability to change their life for the better. And then Spirit is bringing up the word strike. This is why if you're able to have that impact on others, also know that simultaneously there's always a, a, a give and take. It's very important that you strike off of your body any type of did you guys hear that Nova's looking at me like girl that was really weird sorry I had to look because it sounded like there was anyways um at any moment you have to strike somebody put a pin in, in the time like the time stamps and let me know if you hear it too there's no one else here that I know of, <laughs> except me and my dogs. Um, I was uh, working on orders now beforehand, so maybe that's why. But anyways, um, you have to strike off of your body the energetic buildup that takes place when you are coming in contact with people. And this is going to be the ice. That's the ice machine, so don't get the noises that you're hearing confused with what it was that I just heard, because that sounded like someone's side. Literally sound like someone, <sighs> anyways, um, and the dogs heard it too. So um, you have to strike that, that presence off of you. Like you have to strike that energy off of you or do ritual cleansings or 
pray or set the intention while you're showering to remove any bed. Some of you guys, it's it's actual herbal washes. I mean, I was just doing this too. Um, herbal washes, rituals that you do in order to cleanse your energy. For those of you guys that are Christian and you cross paths with my YouTube channel, and my practice sometimes is something that might rub you the wrong way. Um, I understand. I'm not trying to fight or force you past any of your beliefs or your morals, your rules, your regulations. I respect it. I honor it. I also want to invite you to look into the times in actually in the Bible where there are certain like milk baths, perfumes, oils that people address themselves, adorn themselves with to prepare themselves for what is to come, the blessings that the divine has already secured, the things that, that you're migrating towards. So I really want, hopefully, to set the intention that wherever your belief is, whatever your walk of life is leading you, I respect it in full. I ask that you respect it for me too. Every, we're all meant to show up in different ways and be inspired in different ways. I, you know, that's a whole nother thing, but ultimately, like, I, if it's okay also in the Bible for, for herbal washes and, you know, those rituals and those, those, and even fasting, I'm not saying, cause that's the other thing too. I asked the divine, I was like, is this fasting? When you say purification, is there like a detox? That's where my mind went. And immediately divine was like, not even referring to a detox. This is not even, and if that's something that you want to do, do it. Absolutely. There's no, there, it didn't seem like there was anything to inhibit you from that. It just wasn't a requirement and there's a very strong distinction between that so there it was something as simple as cleansing your body rituals herbs oils perfumes keeping your like praying and keeping your mind right making sure that you're not holding on to the the the, the, the everyday the everyday things for example let's go back to that one example that I shared earlier with your baby let's say your child is crying to you because they are scared to start school, not ready to start school, don't want to separate from you, not ready to be independent, but this is the right and the next step. You as their parent, you can see them struggling, want to do everything in your power to protect them, you hold them, you feel their pain, you wish you could take it off of them, you set the intention that maybe you could, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's an exemplary parent, you know, and to be nurturing and to even rest with them and, you know, comfort them. At the same time, Spirit says that a part of your purification process is that you not holding on to those heavy feelings, that you do bring that to the divine, and that you do bring it to your angels and your guides, and you tell them, this is something that my child is dealing with. This is something that breaks my heart. I bring it to you. I ask that you help to strike this fear out of their spirit. Strike this, the, 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 the disappointment, the frustration, and the powerlessness that it is that I'm feeling. Wipe that out of my body. Clear us. Cleanse us. So that this is not something that even though you may find yourself and you will be moving past it and towards it because that's life, it's not something that still lingers. The energy of that isn't lingering and bogging you down. And you'll begin to see signs of it by the way that you feel with restlessness and how you sleep, the irritation and irritability, exhaustion. And this is something that Spirit Zen says. It's the awareness. The awareness of purification is going to ultimately lead to your empowerment and help you to create and help you to be a person who gives this gift, gives this key to many people. That's the other thing too, that this was this major message of passing this information on. That doesn't mean I'm trying to tell you guys to share my YouTube video. If that's what works for you, do it. But it's also about you passing on this message to other people, you feeling led, you feeling called. In your own words, from your own perspective, continue to share because that's gonna help ultimately and it's funny, too, because now it brings it back full circle. Remember how I was saying how the divine wanted to let you know that, like, every person can be changed. Every every moment is a pivotal moment. It's just a matter of if you're receptive or not. And now that brings to the next thing where, okay, let me just finish that thought. Because when I'm channeling, you guys already know, I'd just be like, Neh. Um, But, yeah, so this is why the divine wants you to pass this message on. Because you have to understand that you talking to five people about this or from this moment when you hear someone come to you and they're talking about their own feelings and experiences and then you share this with them they're going you have that opportunity to share it with them that can pass on it just you have to you have to understand the impact that is that you have on on the world through your own word through your word through the words that you say um having said that this is why okay this was the next thought See, that, this is also too, because I don't remember shit. Like, I'm sorry, pardon my French. I don't remember anything. So, 
you know too if I'm able to remember the message it's because it's not coming from me that that's another thing too because if you talk to me on the phone I'll be forgetting things left and right my, my brain goes a million in, in a totally different direction now having said that this spirit said that if you are not striking these moments off of your spiritual body or off out of your aura out of, out of your energy you will not have the strength to, to, to continue to show up for others for the world in the way that you could in the way that i'm leading you to all right let me say that again if you are not energetically striking these this buildup off of your body and clearing it off of your body and allowing it to be clear cut done you will find through maybe compassion fatigue or just all of these different feelings that just aren't getting washed off, aren't being cleansed off of you, you will find that you will be so fatigued, so exhausted, so frustrated, so irritable, so agitated that when, when you have an opportunity to change someone's life for the better, you won't have the capacity to give to that situation because you have overextended, you are spiritually dirty you you see someone who's in need and you want to push them away fight them off avoid them or whatever the case is because the body the energetic body needs to be cleansed versus if you have the everyday ritual and routine of keeping your spiritual body pure now remember when i say pure that's not per perfection it's just the rituals that we do to to dis discombobulate it all and get it out and to pass it on to where it is that it belongs not hold on to it whether we realize that we're doing it or not you will find that someone reaching out and asking for for you for your help or whatever you 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 you're not available to that and that's natural but praying setting intention clearing often is is good enough okay so then i just asked in my head as i was talking to you guys um how often and i heard one to two times a month and that's minimum and then for the rest there's some of us like me personally this is something that I would have to do once a week just because and that's minimum but I am constantly kind of cleansing um I also just heard about like sage and Florida water those things aren't frowned upon it's just one of those things that it's not necessary it can be a quick petition it can be a spiritual bath that you say that this is the bath that is that I'm taking and blessing this where you pray over your water like the shower water the bathtub or you're you're getting it out like you're just journaling and you're getting it out and let it be in nature so that it's not in your home let it be outside of your home whether you go to the park whether you go to I was gonna say Starbucks but just somewhere where there's you're not in your home it can be absorbed and put out and the fresh energy can flow and you don't need to bring it back home, but you're not distracted by the environment of where it is that you're pouring into. So that's pretty much all, guys. I thought this message was going to be pretty short and sweet and to the point, 20 minutes, of course. But either way, I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope that you are well. Let me know if you heard that noise. I'm going to go find out what that was. Ugh, creepy. But it didn't feel creepy. It was just like, what was that? Until then, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you're moving on and you're not subscribing, it was a blessing to give this message over to you. I hope that you are well. Uh, for everyone else, guys, I'll see you in my next one because there are a lot of channeled message messages. I've been journaling them. A lot has been coming through, but they're not just complete by themselves. They just keep adding on, and um, it's 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 beautiful to watch. So, um, specifically when it comes to marriages and unions and breakups and stuff like that, there's been a lot of information around that. So, anyways, I'm sending you guys all of my love. I'll talk to you soon. I hope that you are well. Bye.